Kitchen comes to visit us. And we have Sarah in here with us, so it's time to put on our geeky goggles and have a good time. So what do you have right. in store for us today? Well, I do have safety glasses for you. Awesome, love and it. And then I'm gonna have you just push your hair back because Perfect. we're gonna do some combustion oh, yeah. today. Ooh, we must be careful. Oh yeah. I do not wanna go into flames. <laughs> um, here we go. So I'm gonna have you take these oyster crackers and fill up Ooh, this dish for me. Okay, I love oyster crackers. Do you? So this is awesome. So that's about a one ounce serving that we're gonna put into this bowl and okay. that is awesome. going to be approximately 70 calories. Okay. What we're gonna do is actually set those on fire then. Okay, you know, <laughs> why not? Why right. not set them on fire, absolutely. Because we want to visually see those calories. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Now we get calories from the food that we eat and calories are really just a measure of energy. Measure of energy, okay. Yep. And this is a good way to test this energy. Exactly. Show it, okay. So to make combustion happen, we need three things, flame fuel, oxygen. Okay. You're gonna be in charge of our flame today. Ooh, is that a good idea? Of We're gonna find out, aren't we? <laughs> um, so this experiment though is gonna happen kind of quick because okay. I have got some liquid oxygen in this test tube. You can see it in the bottom. Yeah. It's really pretty actually. Yeah, it is beautiful. Um, but we want to get that oxygen into our bowl with this fuel, and then you're gonna bring the flame in right away. Okay. All right, are you ready? I uh, Sure. Okay, yeah, go. as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Let's get this thing going. All right, so this is pure oxygen gas. They okay. actually condense down into a liquid. Now, go ahead and get your your torch. Okay. And get, you're gonna push that red button on the front. Yep, you're gonna leave it lit and have it ready okay. to go. I'm gonna pour it in here, and then you're gonna bring it in and add it, okay? All right, now hit it with the flame. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Burn. Now take a step back. Wow. Holy so no, we've got a lot really of calories burning. in there. About 70 calories. About so, and that's a lot of energy. That you is can a really lot of see energy. what you're eating. That's All a right. lot of energy. Now I'm going to wow. plop a beaker on there. It kind of contains Thank some you. of that Thank smoke you, yeah. so we don't stop the fire so we're not, today. Yeah, kind <laughs> of in a, fa a haze over here. Now I really like this experiment, so we're going to do it again, but we're going to change okay. one variable. Okay. All right, so now I want you to fill up our second bowl with right. cheese balls. And how many calories do we have in this? Are we upping? So are we, we upping are. So now counting? we're gonna add about 130 calories. So yeah, make a nice big pile in there. And the reason we like to do this food science is because nutritionists do something similar with a fancy machine called a calorimeter. Okay. And what they do is they will combust foods. They can measure the amount of heat and energy coming off of it. And then that gives them a gauge on how to um, determine calories. Okay. Okay, so there's a, a little fancier than what we're doing, but yeah. we have a nice visual representation yeah, of which the is what we what makes it easier for us. We don't yeah. necessarily understand all the teeny tiny things, right. but when you can see it, you can really understand. And we don't have time to do a lot of math on TV yeah, today. Yeah, get rid of that. Let's <laughs> just flame. That's the best form of math I've ever known. Right. <laughs> all right. So get your uh, torch ready there again. Okay. Here I'm going to grab another container of that really pretty right. liquid oxygen. All right. Now okay. we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to dump it in. You're going to yep. add your flame. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Bring your flame in. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> so this Look one is significantly bigger than the first one. Significant. Yeah, and okay. it keeps going. It's yes. longevity. It keeps so burning and burning and burning. Those cheese puffs, pretty cool. I'm yeah. actually going to. What a difference in calorie Ooh. count there. Now, Ooh, some even kind of popped. I know. That was, popped and look, over. there's hardly anything left in our bowl now. Yeah. We've combusted the entire there, thing. not much. Okay. Wow. So I'm actually going to try to scoop those there. under there. Oh, one we'll, we'll get that one stray <laughs> one, too. Perfect. Um, wow. But this is a really cool way to see the amount of energy. Now, of course, that's not happening in your stomach every time you eat food. Yeah, that's no. A yeah, don't don't panic. <laughs> You're not having a flame or combustion right. happening in your that's stomach. That's not where heartburn comes from. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. Awesome. Very cool. So, a very visual way to see that. So, what do you guys have going on at Imagination Station over your next few little? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're actually reopened now. We're reopened. Yes. Okay, so, great. come back and visit us. Come we back have, to us. Yes. We have Think Tank workshops happening right. all month. Drop in on the weekend. It's really good time for the family. Um, all the details for those are actually listed on our website, which is imaginationstationtoledo.org. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Bringing flame is always very <laughs> exciting, and I always have so much fun. And nobody got on fire, so Not, great job. Nope, nope. Go team. I'm a good scientist. <laughs> you are. You're phenomenal. <laughs> well, we'll have more WTOL 11 Your Day in just a moment.